It's fabulous to have Camille Brown back. She's just blown up, you know, as a choreographer. Nominated for Tony Award, she's choreographing not just in contemporary dance, but musicals and all of that. And we've been talking about City of Rain for a while. I love this work because it shows a different side, a more lyrical side, but the reason is because of the subject matter. This work was something that I choreographed in 2010, and it was inspired by my friend who passed away. He had a, a debilitating illness that caused him to lose feeling from his waist down. He never told any of us what was going on with him. When he passed away in 2009, we had questions for him, but also questions for ourselves. How could we have been better or to lift him up? Coming back to it, it's 2019, it's nine years, and taking in the stuff that I've learned from theater and my concert dance working with my company. Some of the dancers were joking and they said, you're not restaging this, this is like a reimagined kind of thing because I am in a sense unearthing it and deconstructing and figuring out ways that I can tell the story better. It's a fine line because I don't want to take away from what the piece was back in 2010. The title of the piece is called City of Rain. Rain speaks to the weight that he carried but also it could be like my tears too. And you feel that when you see the work. There's a certain kind of intensity about it within the lyricism that's almost a juxtaposition. And you just feel that there's something tangible, you know, that, that kind of punch in the gut. And that's what City of Rain has. Someone said a quote to me and I kind of riffed on it. Your tears create water. Water is the ocean. The ocean flows in waves and keeps you going forward. It's almost like our pain, our confusion, our anxiety, we have to get it out and give ourselves the time to do that so we can keep going.